bag is 50. But I have to ask you to excuse me right now. See, I'm kind of, you know, on a real day. What's up guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do time slice stretch transition. So once you have all your clips ready, you're going to press S on your keyboard to bring up scale. And you're going to want to press this little keychain interlock looking thing to unlink it. Because when they're attached like that, that means both of the properties move at the same time. And we only need one, so unlink both of those. Then we're going to keyframe both of them at the beginning move towards the end and keyframe again we're going to change this top property thing this one to zero and we're going to keep this one at 100 then we're going to go to the beginning and change this one to 400 and that will be like this Make sure you still have both keyframes, all the keyframes highlighted. I'm gonna go into our key. Now you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to speed graph. You're gonna make sure you highlight all of them because you're trying to move all of them at the same time. And we're just gonna make the graph towards the middle. So it'll look something like that. Now we're going to add an adjustment layer to our clip. You're gonna right click anywhere press new and then adjustment layer we're gonna just drag it at the top up there and we're gonna move it right there we're gonna come up here to effects and presets and type in time slice and then we're gonna drag that to the adjustment layer we're gonna change the slice number from 12 to 7 After you do that, just play it through and you're done. You're done. That is it. Congratulations and good job, guys. You did it. And that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope i could help you if you have any other transition you want me to teach you guys how to do comment them down below or dm me on my instagram until next time see you later oh shit here we go again i just wanted to say thanks